Okay, this setup is from a restaurant I will not mention. But really look at this shit. If y'all are gonna partner with these delivery apps, at least invest in some damn bags for your carriers. I can honestly tell you that I am not coming back here. This is not convenient in the least. In fact, I almost dropped it on the way back to the car. What's up, YouTube? This is Elijah coming at you with another video from the app lifestyle.org. Your one stop shop for all things ride share and delivery alike. And uh, <laughs> as you can see from the title, this is pretty interesting. But as I'm talking, you'll see screenshots of what I'm talking about. So how it is? How is it that I was able to top uh, over like twenty dollars an hour just delivering food? Now that that's somewhat normal for Uber X, but delivering food it, it's kind of rare. And I do have some news. Unfortunately, if you checked out the Uber Eats 2018 video, you know that Uber they uh, have separated the dual platformers from the Uber Eats platformers in the form of Uber Eats are the only ones that are ever gonna get boosts anymore. And there's a reason for that, we're gonna go into it. The reason that Uber Eats is the only one that's ever gonna get any promotions for Uber Eats now, is because the dual platformers, the surge is attached to Uber Eats too. So let's say you're with Uber X and you're, it's surging three, 4.0. If you just have deliveries on or if a delivery comes in, the surge is gonna get attached to that delivery too. So you'll get a, the, that delivery will have a 3.0 or 2.0 attached to it, which means that as long as you're in that surge zone, the meal is gonna get the surge. Now keep in mind that it's all depending on the dispatch time. So there's gonna be a lag period of let's say just start surging. Not every delivery that comes your way is gonna automatically have that surge because some orders have already been floating out there prior to their being surged. But I find that after surge has been in effect for about 10 minutes, you're gonna start seeing surge rise come through. So what I do, if it's surging, I just don't take anything unless it has a surge. I know there's gonna be that lag period, so just keep that in mind. But with that being said, well, hell, that means that anytime it's surging on UberX, if for dual platformers, you can grab some serious grip. As you can see on the screenshots, you're seeing surge attacks to these and it's working out pretty nice. So one thing you want to keep in mind, dual platformers, you know, such, such as myself, you want to keep an eye on what events are going on in your city. Now I do this for UberX in general, but a few ways you could do this. Your friends are probably always going to events. I always say you're interested and sync ways with it. That way it'll let you know what's going on in your city. And then head over there and you're not picking anyone up but go ahead and turn deliveries on because you know there's gonna be a high surge and you can go ahead and grab some bang. And then you'll get the result of what you're seeing in these screenshots. So I'm pretty sure y'all have uh, some questions. Leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, like and share is greatly appreciated. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you can get notified for when new videos drop. This is Elijah. You can find more at theapplifestyle.org. Until the next time, peace out. Oh,